Hello Lola's just popping in to share baby India and what she's wearing today. Um, I know y'all get so sick of her, <laughs> of me with her lately. I was, um, I don't know, when, when I put her on these, uh, little shoes, I thought about, um, the, the, the little comedian, the older black lady that be in the church dress with the white shoes. And I'm like, look at her. And then when I put the bonnet on, I was like, oh, look at her looking like Miss Driving Miss Daisy. So, I don't know. I, I don't think the shoes really go with the outfit necessarily. Because the outfit is a cream color, not a white. And, um, yeah. So, and the hat is a different color, yellow. But, hey, it is what it is. She living her best life. Don't judge her. I just thought I would come on and share her with you guys. Um... Because I thought she was still cute, though. Um, of course, I'm going to think that, though. Um, so, yeah. So, this is her little self. I, um... Say, hey, little mama. Hey, little mama. But, yeah. She smells so good. I love... I, I love... I'm, I'm telling y'all, I... Because of my migraines, I typically don't, like, do a lot of fragrance with my babies. But, um, I put the, I'll have to pick up, I missed the button. But I put the, the powder wafer scents in her. But I just realized, too, it's not just that. This outfit smells like the, um, Giraffe baby, uh, scent stuff. So she really smelling like baby right now. Yeah, she's really smelling like baby right now. So yeah, and I, you know, and I, I know a lot of people like they want that baby scent, and a lot of people think that putting powder on the babies, like baby powder, is gonna give them that baby scent. For me, I never seen where it made them smell baby. They still smell like silicone to me. The only thing that gives me that baby smell on my babies when I picked them up was if I use like the um, fabric softener in their hair or if their clothes smelled really good. And I personally believe that you should spray their clothes and let them dry, you know, like, you know, spritz them, not soak them, of course, or whatever you wash them in, you know, you wash them and rinse it really good and stuff. Cause I don't, I don't, I think you have to be careful with spraying like alcohol type products on you know and missing get it on the baby's paint and stuff like that so I these clothes actually just believe it or not just set in a drawer with the little um fabric softener things in it because this is brand new um so and it, it just you know kept the the smell of it but yeah, I I do. I think I think that that is the only way to get that baby smell on your baby when you pick them up is on, on their clothes or, you know, if they're like so they're not this is not a full body. Of course, this is a, a cuddle baby. So, of course, I could put the wafers inside the body, but with a full body, you don't have that option. So, people think, "Oh, just powder it, baby powder. That that makes it smell good." It doesn't. It it really doesn't to me. Um I think putting on their clothes and like um, I don't use as much of anything more than water in their hair most of the time too so but every now and then I put like a drop of fabric softener in the baby's hair if it and it holds the curls and all that stuff but I don't and then when you rinse it out it kind of stays in there so after that you just you're using water but you can still smell the smell in their hair um but I just, I just strongly recommend just either getting you a baby powder scent spray for their clothes or like I did, wash it in giraffe or, you know, put the, even if you don't wash, wash the clothes, you put them in the drawer, put the little baggie of the, um, uh, those little bead things, the giraffe, uh, whatever you call them in there and, and let it sit in their drawer, in the baby drawers and they just, all their clothes just start to smell like baby. So... 
that's how she smells right now that's how i smell right now that's how i smell right now so <laughs> so it's like i just want to keep picking her up like <laughs> so i am gonna when this video go off i am gonna take them shoes off and put her on some type of socks i don't know and um that'll be it because those shoes is really, really irritate my soul growing i don't know I, I bought a lot of white shoes these shoes the little baby deer shoes i love these these are like the preemie size too um so preemie size is really cute and little and i like them with certain outfits for the babies but to be honest like for me i never like white shoes like dress shoes or anything like that it was always a huge no for me um i've rarely even had white sandals um but for the babies i think babies look cute with clean fresh white shoes with the right outfit but this this ain't it you guys let me know if you think the church shoes is working but in my opinion it ain't working that ain't it <laughs> it ain't it ain't the look for her <laughs> look at her it ain't the look for me mama <laughs> soldier boy whoa <laughs> let me stop my baby she tired she is tired of me i um there was you know sometimes you know painting these the silicone can be um very tedious and sometimes i just i'd be so excited when they get done i just i don't know i just want to just love on them so that's where I'm at with her. I'm just really, really enjoying her and glad that... Well, I guess because I couldn't believe that I finished her as fast as I did because... But then it's just the head and hands. And so it wasn't a full body and I had a little stand to, you know, be able to, you know, paint her faster than having, you know, struggling. I guess I wasn't, you know, wasn't irritated by trying to keep the head up and all that stuff. Um, so I really round the clock, back and forth, back and forth, getting up after, uh, after one layer cure, I get back up and I, I go back and I, I do it or whatever. But yeah, it took me, it took me, it didn't take me as long as it normally take me, but it's still a long process if you really count how many hours you have to get up because silicone is funny. It's not like reborns. You you have to um, let it cure for so long in between each layer. So it's like you can't really r rush it. Like I can't rush it, you know. Um, so, yeah. And then like if you, for every little thing too. Like, and that's why like sometimes I just be like, like Vegas, I got to finish. When I tell y'all I got to finish um mat and him like because when you mat him and then you miss a spot because you know you just didn't see it or maybe you didn't put the you didn't put silicone in that area and then um you have to go back and even for one little spot you still gotta wait that long behind time um for it to cure for to mat that spot so sometimes I just be like I'm so tired of trying to do that with one hand and sometimes you just get so tired I just be so tired I'm like I just want to play with him like he looks done enough you know so I like I'll be like oh my gosh I just want to play with him I want to play with him so and for me you know it's my baby you know so I know that I can do that I can you know prep him clean him good and then go back in and um you know finish the matting process but yeah it's I mean, it's very tedious because you're you're trying to hit every single spot <laughs> and don't miss you can't miss nothing and and then when you do, you gotta go back and then you gotta do that one little spot and it's not like you could do both sides at the same time, so if you got one spot on let's say one spot on the tummy and then one spot on the back of the shoulder or something like that you can't do them at the same time so you got to do that one wait till the whole time to that one cure 
then you gotta fl flip it over then you gotta do that side wait the whole time for that to cure and then hope that you got it <laughs> so anyway that's that's that but that's why i'm really like enjoying the cuddle baby the the cuddle babies right now in silicone because it's not a large area to cover and so i kind of pretty much get them right within the first go and it's pretty cool like i have one little spot right there that i missed but i said i'll do that later and but other than that it came out pretty good for the first go um so yeah it's it's so it it's it's is a great experience when it's just you know a small like the head and the hands because I'm not having to worry about the whole body so it, it's it's quite fun um to cut down the work and still be able to enjoy like a baby anyway guys I know I'm rambling about nothing um I hope you guys are enjoying your week my week started yesterday um and whew, I'm hoping soon that I'll be able to get some relief and a break because right now I'm so exhausted I work seven days a week right now, literally. So, anyway, guys, talk to you guys later. Don't forget to let me know about them church shoes, child. Let me know, honey, what y'all think about them little church shoes. <laughs> I know, I know, not this outfit. They would be cute for another outfit, but not this one. I get it. It's okay. Let me know, though. Now I want to hear what y'all got to say.